Hey, Sahara Gault here, and we're going to sing low notes. We'll connect you to the lowest extension of your chest voice, hit the key mechanics involved in mastering low notes, and do some exercises that will expand your low range over time. When you're singing low notes, you want to focus on an open, relaxed quality. If we're pushing or squeezing, the low notes disappear. So to open up and relax, we're going to do a falling glissando on a yawn sound like this. Let the back of the throat release. Feel the soft palate lift and totally let go into the sensation of the yawn. Go ahead. Now, make sure you're not feathering the bottom of this with a breathy sound. We don't want... Oh. It should feel like the sensation starts in your head and gradually moves down into your chest as you get to the end of the yawn. Oh. It's very important that you touch down into that grumbly place. It's called vocal fry, and it's the lowest extension of your voice. Let's hit the yawn one more time. Make sure you're connecting to that. Great. Now, feel free to pause here and do as many repetitions as you need to feel relaxed and open. Now I want to move on to an exercise that really helps you connect to and develop your vocal fry. We're going to sing yoy. It's Y-O-Y. Yoy. And really dig into the end of the Y sound. Yeah, to get traction on your fry. Try that. Now we're gonna put this on a melody in vocal fry. Yay, 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 yay. What you'll find by doing this is what seemed like a sound or an effect is actually its own variety of singing. In fry, the vocal folds have their own distinctive vibratory pattern, giving you unbridled access to the low range. And so harnessing fry means not only mastering a key coordination and practicing a subtlety of the vocal mechanism that'll yield benefit everywhere for the enhanced control, but you can also use fry in its own right for the tremendous value it brings in extending the low range and that haunting character singing in fry creates. It's worth having this in your bag of tricks. So we're gonna use this exercise to reveal the full potential of your low range and also build body and fullness into the vocal fry itself so it's more usable. Okay, we're singing Yoi. Here we go. Moving down. really protract that Y sound. And let it be grumbly. Don't worry about tone right now. I know we're getting low, but don't push for these. Just let it slip into fry. You might be surprised a voice can produce pitches this low. But we're actually nowhere near the bottom.
Great. And now for an exercise to build up the chest voice proper. We're going to sing be, like in the word better. I want you to put a hand on your chest to feel for the vibration there. And at the same time, imagine yourself singing into your belly. The lower down you go, the deeper into the belly. Exercise sounds like this. Ba, 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 ba. And you can use that fry when you need to extend down even further. Here we go. Imagine singing down into the belly. Feel for the vibration in your chest. Try to maximize it. Get it to boom there. Nice. And now that you've got a feel for fullness in the chest voice, we need to make sure it's balanced with some brilliance. And top end keeps the low notes from sounding muffled and also gives a bit of desirable bite to the tone. I want you to sing om, as in omnipresent, big, relaxed, open ah, like in our yawn sound, and then close down to M, like this. Um, Hugo. Now, as you sing the vowel portion, the ah, I want you to pay attention to where you feel the buzz in your head. It might be a diffuse sensation somewhere in the center of your brain or in your mouth. And then notice, as you close down to the M, does the feeling of buzz suddenly shift forward into the front of your face? Check on that. If it does, Sing the arm um again, uh, this time from the outset. Make it feel like it's buzzing at the front of your face. Get the ah uh to match where the M rings. Then, when you close down to the M, there shouldn't be a meaningful sensation of shift in resonance. So, in sound, we don't want this. Um. See how gauzy and indistinct the vowel sounds? And then there's the big shift in timbre as we get into the resonant M. It's weird and unsatisfying. Instead, we want the ah to ring where the M does from the outset, like this. Um. Try and mirror that. Now notice that that doesn't have to be mutually exclusive with the open sensation of the ah. So again, key mechanics recapture the feeling of the yawn that we began with. Relax the back of the throat. Feel a little bit of lift in the soft palate. Release your jaw back and down. And alongside this open position, project the sensation of buzz to the front of your face. Really light it up. And to drive all this home, we're going to take that balanced, open coordination and sing it on a yawn-like glissando, but now sliding between two distinct pitches, like this. Um, here we go.
Okay, you probably already opened up some new low notes you didn't know you had. And keep working with this. You'll continue to expand your low range. If you want more, be sure to get my V60 Vocal System. It's a comprehensive vocal training program. It gives you all the exercises and instruction you need to transform your voice. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Sahara Galt. I'll see you next time.